Mr. Chairman, there's another voice from Texas that has a rather different view of Ms. Hartnett White, and that is the Dallas Morning News, the local newspaper, which under the headline, Trump airs in naming climate denier and former Texas regulator to environmental posts, went on to say her performance as an environmental regulator in Texas suggested she would walk lockstep in dismantling vital environmental protections. They described her record as, and I quote here, abominable. They described her as, and I quote here, an apologist for energy interests. And they concluded by saying the nation needs a White House advisor who respects science and seeks a reasoned balance between energy needs and environmental protections. Kathleen Hartnett White does neither. And then they went on to put in a kind of special little extra section with a list of bullet points on why Kathleen Hartnett White is wrong for the job. I ask unanimous consent that that Texas editorial be put in. Without the objection. Um, Mr. Wheeler, was anything happening when you climbed Kilimanjaro there that relates to uh, fossil fuel emissions? The air is very thin, but um, if, if you're referring to the, the glacier on, on top of Kilimanjaro. I'm asking you, was anything happening on Kilimanjaro the related to fossil fuel emissions? The glacier was there. And, and, uh, hmm? Sorry? The glacier was, is still there on top. That's uh, not answering my question. I don't understand your question then, sir. Was there anything going on that you're aware of? Did you learn anything about what was happening on Mount Kilimanjaro that relates to fossil fuel emissions? Uh, no, sir. You didn't know nothing? Okay. Um, you are a lobbyist for Murray Energy? Yes, Murray Energy is one of my clients. Uh, the head of Murray Energy, Bob Murray, has said that he has a three-page plan that is being implemented by Scott Pruitt at the EPA. He said they're already through the first page. What can you tell us about Bob Murray's three-page plan that he claims Scott Pruitt is implementing at the EPA? Well, first of all, I, I've... Did you work did on not have a, No, I did not work on that, and I did not have a copy of that, um, of that memo. Um, Would you I, be able to get your hands on one? Well, I also have client confidentiality concerns with my clients as well, but um, I don't have a copy of the memo, no. Well, we also have disclosure interests when you're a candidate for a significant federal position. So are you asserting that there's an attorney-client privilege between you and the Murray Energy Corporation with respect to the three-page three page plan? I've deregistered representing him as of August, and I don't have one in my possession. Have you seen it? I saw it briefly at the beginning of the year, but I, I don't have a copy of it. Do you recall anything about it? Um, no, I mean, I, I, I know that the, were there, I don't even know how many pages it was. I think you said it was three pages? That's what Bob Murray said it was. I've never seen it, so I wouldn't know, but he said he had a three-page plan that Scott Pruitt is implementing for him at the EPA and that he's through the first page for Bob Murray already. Yes, so I, I'm trying to inquire about that. You said you've seen it. You're not sure. Did it look like three pages, two pages, four pages? You're, you're the one who I saw it. Somewhere around there. I, I did not have it in my possession. Um, I looked at it, handed it back to him. I don't have it. I don't. Do you remember where you were when you looked at it and what the context was for that conversation? Uh, no, actually, I don't. It may have been in our offices, but I don't remember. Our offices, meaning your law firm? My, yes. Um, Well, I guess I'll try to follow that up further with um, questions for the record, because I think it's something of a significant situation if a, uh, the CEO of a regulated industry is saying that he has given his regulator a three-page plan, uh, takes credit for having gotten through the first page of it already. We have a, a candidate for deputy administrator who said who's seen it and can confirm that it exists. And I think the American people are entitled to a, um, an EPA that is not following a coal company's three-page plan, but is following the, well, wherever the best interests of the American people lead, wherever the best interests of real science lead. So I hope that the chairman will uh, allow us to consider pursuing how we get our hands on this three-page plan that Mr. Wheeler has seen and that is evidently, according to Mr. Murray, now driving uh, what happens uh, at EPA. Um, one question for uh, Ms. Hartnett-White. Uh, 
is there, are you aware of anything that is happening in the oceans that relates to fossil fuel emissions? There are um, uh, probably a number of them. I'm, Name I'm, a few. I have a very superficial understanding as far as the, but um, um, acidification issues is one. And yeah. I've, I've not read widely or deeply. I have read some um, which different perspectives, um, some of which um, suggest that it's a, a, um, a, a very, very fragile um, set of changes in acidification. I have others that say that for, you know, long eons of geological history, there are certain places of certain oceans may have um, changes in acidification levels, but not, uh, not others, so, such that changes, either up or down, are not inherently um, a problem. But I have no, I can't, I, I cannot speak as an authority on that. But I'm aware it's one of the, the multiple um, um, key issues as far as potential impacts of a man made global warming. My time's expired, uh, Mr. Chairman. Thank you for me, letting me go over about 50 seconds. <clears throat> Mr. Uh, Wheeler, there has been a, a recent request by Secretary Perry to the Federal Energy Regulatory Commission to provide certain regulatory favors, to provide regulatory priority to, among other things, coal plants. Um, were, to your knowledge, was uh, either Mr. Murray or Murray Energy involved in making a recommendation of any kind to Secretary Perry on that subject? And were you personally involved in any way in uh, any activities that led up to Secretary Perry's uh, request to the Federal Energy Regulatory Commission? Certainly, Murray Energy has been supportive of that effort, and I, I did attend a meeting with Murray Energy at the Department of Energy where this was discussed months ago, um, but I stopped. Um, I, I deregistered in, in August. I've not been involved in anything over the last few months on this issue when this issue has been front and center. Was your participation in the preparation for the Perry request, call it, can we call it that? Is that a fair enough description? You know what I'm talking about if I say the Perry request to FERC? I, I think I know what you mean. Um, I, didn't, I did not was your, work on putting that together. I, as I said, I was in a meeting at the Department of Energy. With was that the limit of that. your participation in that, was to attend one meeting at the Department of Energy? I also, att I believe, attended one Hill meeting on that as well. So one meeting on the Hill, one meeting at the Department of Energy, nothing further. No memos that you authored, no paper trail, uh, nothing else. No, no, sir. All right. Um, Ms. Hartnett, when I went down to uh, Texas, I go to a lot of states to try to figure out what's going on there in terms of climate change, and I had a scientific panel with scientists from the University of Texas at Austin and from uh, Texas Tech, um, Catherine Hayhoe, who I'm still somewhat in touch with, uh, who is by way not pagan, she's evangelical. Um, Texas A&M, the Aggies were present, and Rice University. And um, they said that uh, Texas was in harm's way from climate change from a whole variety of uh, fronts, including sea level rise along the coastline and so forth. Um, they were pretty much in unanimous agreement with each other about what was going on. And they also said they were unaware of any uh, support uh, in their universities for some like counter science in which this isn't really happening. Um, have you been in touch with any of those universities about climate change and about what it means for Texas? And is there any record yes, um, of your contact with those universities? I don't know where there would be record, but uh, um, there would be records. But over the over the years, uh, attending a conference or a uh, you know a panel or that, that sort of thing. Do you know? Um, how much of the excess heat that has been captured by greenhouse gas emissions has been absorbed by the ocean, roughly, say, to the nearest 10 percent? I don't have numbers like that. I've, I've read about... Um, Even to the nearest 10 percent. Do you know if it's more than 50 percent or less than 50 percent? 
Could you ask, I'm sorry, but could you ask the question one more time? Of the additional heat that has been captured in the atmosphere as a result of greenhouse no, gas emissions, I, do you know how much of that excess heat about that, has I, been captured I, in the I, ocean? Is it more or less than 50 percent? Do you even know that? Um, no. No. Okay. Um, but I believe there are differences of opinions on that, that there's not one right answer. Really? Uh, do you think there's actual serious difference of opinion, whether it's below 50 percent? Um, and unless I'm mistaken, yes. You think there is? Yes. And serious unless, difference unless of opinion mistaken, as to how much of that has been captured question. by the ocean. You think there's serious scientific opinion that it's below 50 percent? Yes. Okay. Wow. Uh, do you think that if the ocean warms, it expands? Does the law of thermal expansion apply to seawater? Again, I'm, I'm not, I do not have any kind of expertise or even much layman study of, of the ocean um, dynamics and the climate change issues. Just enough to know that you think that there's not science that establishes clearly how much of the heat has been uh, taken up by the oceans. You knew that, right? You said you knew that. My time's expired. I'm sorry. I hear the gavel knocking. Thank you, Senator Whitehouse. Senator Sullivan. Could 